What is good? Diamond Knight is Steve, baby. Y'all already know what's going on in this video today. Today, man, as you guys can tell by the title of this video, what we're gonna be reacting to. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell they ain't your mama, tell they uncle Joey Stella. Oh, let's get right into the video. Of course, y'all sent me this video to react to. I just couldn't help but laugh when I read the title. But let's see exactly what's going on here, man. Let's go. So Hallie posted a video of a photo shoot that she took while she was pregnant. And she states, mm. do y'all remember seeing these pics on my Insta? We, we photoshopped, photoshopped out, my, out belly. my belly. That's wild. Now, of course, people were That's saying, wild. Hallie, we already knew this. Someone states, I don't think Thank people you, are mad she hid her pregnancy. People I think I remember are, seeing this on the shade room. Are more so annoyed that she went out her way to lie and gaslight about... Gaslight is crazy. How could you gaslight somebody about your own motherfucking business? We're not even supposed to be in a business at all. So how y'all gonna get upset? <laughs> I understand, like, the fans want to know. The fans feel like, man, we deserve to know because we're, we are y'all fans. We want to know every intricate detail about your personal, private life, and your public life. Nothing is supposed to be private if y'all are public figures. But at the end of the day, y'all can't be upset that she wanted to hide her pregnancy. If she wasn't ready for the world to know, even though they knew, she has every right to say, I'm not ready to share that information. So I'm just not going to do it. Point blank, period. Like, you can't be upset. I mean, you can be upset, but there's really nothing you can do about it. And you don't have the right to that information you're not entitled to know that information about it then she shaded people and called them desperate now she wants the same desperate people to know every little detail ellie responded with i never lied or even said anything about it honey making a joke about my nose was the furthest i went I'll never understand why you are mad. I protected my own peace. Wouldn't you do the same? And I'm going to share my pics now if I want to. Think about it. I understand. Yeah, they signed up for a public life and all of that. I get it. But the way that some of these people are coming so entitled is crazy. To say that she lied and gaslit people <laughs> about her own private information is wild to me because my son is here safely if you don't want to see it just keep strolling baby strolling. god bless strolling. you she someone else states hallie baby kill it you didn't tell us about the baby then you didn't speak on it then don't speak now and leave us out oh quit crying y'all was crying before and now y'all crying now she can't win for losing she don't say anything, y'all crying about it. She say something and now she want to share shit, now y'all crying again. Like, she cannot win for losing. The conversation, enjoy your jit in peace. Hallie responds with, don't care, if you don't crazy. care, why are you responding then, sweetheart? Just don't care by living your best life and not commenting on mine. I so just think it's so crazy how people take the time out of their precious day, precious moments that they would never get back in their lifetime. To come on somebody's page that they feel like they do not like. To comment and give their opinion. <laughs> like, it, that shit is just weird as hell. You would think that these people was getting paid, you know, for the comments that they leave on these people's pages. Or about certain people. It's just wild. Hallie was in a mood this morning and she decided to clap back. Hmm. But let's move on. And let me also just say, man... That everybody is entitled to their own opinion. And that's what comes with being a fucking public figure. If you cannot take it, then you don't need to be a public figure. It is what it is. That's, just, that's, that's what comes with the territory. I say that all the time. But at the same time, some of these niggas is just so fucking entitled, bruh, that I would have to spaz on some niggas too. I ain't even gonna lie to you, bruh. You know, like... Like I said, if she doesn't share no information, y'all got something to say. If she shares information, y'all got something to say. She can't win either way it goes. So at the end of the day, like I say, man, I know it's hard to block out the hate. I know it's hard to not see the DMs, not see the comments, not see all of that shit. And one day you might catch somebody in the wrong mood and you might get that work. You know, so I definitely understand both sides of it. Of course, people can have an opinion, but goddamn, you cannot feel like you're entitled to certain information. Then get upset when people want to protect their privacy and protect their peace. I always say that people... Like, especially if you're in the spotlight, you should do that. Even if you're not in the spotlight, you should do that. Everybody should not know all of your business, you know? But anyway. On to this next topic with Carmen and Michi. Now, recently, Carmen did an interview where she did explain her feelings on Michi, stating that she didn't mean to hurt him, but she wasn't ready 
before a relationship. Mm. Somebody before mm -hmm. they claimed you. <laughs> that was not that That's not what happened. That is what it is. People okay. claiming you and shit. Who said that? Oh, the radio host? Michi was claiming her? So you can't claim somebody who says that they're not ready for a relationship. You know, you cannot put a stamp on somebody who doesn't who's not ready for a tattoo, you know, so let's see what she got to say. It, okay, yeah, like he was more open about his feelings and I wasn't. And then when yeah. I talked about But you my weren't feelings, trying to be on that type of time. Facts. Yeah, and I feel like we knew that like privately, but when it came down people were saying oh, different things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nah. So I feel like social media kinda ruined it for me, I would say. That's what I be telling y'all, man. All these social media couples and shit, man. Really protect y'all's privacy, protect y'all peace, protect y'all's love, and don't be sharing every single solitary thing, man. Because social media could definitely, you know, if you're not strong, if both if both people are not strong, social media could sway that relationship. Sounds about right. No, he ruined it. He should have yeah. knew. He ruined it. That, that was coming. Yeah. Facts. Yeah, that too. But I don't know. I do take responsibility because maybe I could have delivered a little bit different. It made me show just respect because he felt like I was throwing shade at him and laughing. Mm -hmm. Then my friend was yeah. like saying things. Mm -hmm. Y'all not on. Your friend was saying things because you was telling your friends things that you would never tell us or him. Let's be honest, bruh. Let's really be honest. Behind the scenes, you telling your homegirls what the tea really is. You know? So your friend is going to be able to hee hee ha ha and, you know, throw shade in the video. Because she knows things that we're not privy to. You know? And like I said, man, women... Women are going to tell their friends things that they wouldn't tell the dude that they're fucking with. Or the girl that they're fucking with. Whether it be positive or negative. They might say, oh, girl, oh, my God. Like, I'm really falling for her. Or, you know, I don't know how to feel and this and that. Or they might say, girl, oh, my God. Like... He does too much. He's too fucking clingy. Like, oh my gosh, his world is going to crumble if I leave him. You know, like, this is the information that the girls get, that the nigga don't get, and that the world don't get. So I'm pretty sure she was expressing herself openly and authentically with her homegirls, which is one of the homegirls that came on the video and, you know, was throwing shade or whatever the case was. She knew information that we did not know, and that's the reason why the energy came off the way it did. I'm just assuming... You know, I'm not saying this is a fact. I wasn't there for their conversations, but I'm just saying, you know. And like I said, it's human nature for people to attack the weak, especially with women. And when they dealing with a nigga who they know, like, oh, man, this nigga's weak for me. She has no, like, it's in her human nature to fucking attack because she wants somebody who's strong. She wants somebody who's solid. She wants somebody who's not going to bend or break or like their whole world is going to stop. If she walks out of his life or her life, she wants somebody to be strong. She doesn't want somebody who's like, oh, my gosh, you know, like that's just the fact of the matter, man. You know, and any any woman who wants a man or significant other who is weak. Probably just wants the power and control in that relationship and they're going to manipulate that person. They go, you know what I'm saying? The game is deep. It really is, man. But like I said, I've seen this coming a long time ago. This is not new news to me. This is not shocking to me at all. And, um, I just hope Michi learns from the situation. You know, it sounds like his last relationship too, that he was in for years, his last girl wasn't treating him right either. So at the end of the day, you have to look at yourself and say, why don't I value myself? Why don't I see my own worth? Because when you see your own value, you see your own worth, you will never, right? You will never allow certain things to happen to you. You know, like that just is what it is. But anyway. On the same page, you can't be going forward with nothing like Now she did delete that video that everyone thought was messy that she did with her friend. Yes, wow. I told you guys previously that video is no longer All of us already reacted to this shit, Carmen. We all saw it. You know, so you might as well have left that shit up and got your views from it. On her YouTube. Now, this is what Michi had to say about being sad and hurt about the situation all with right. Carmen. Let's see. I'm sorry, Michi. I believe you want to be happy. I'm happy, y'all. What the fuck are you talking about? Hey, listen, don't get being sad as in, like, you know, I'm not, like, happy in life as an individual. Like, I'm super happy. I mean, we know you are happy and grateful for life itself. 
But you know what we fucking talk about, nigga. <laughs> we talking about the situation with Carmen. We know you're sad about that shit. All right? And that's okay. That's okay. But at the same time, you got to learn something from this situation. You can't continue to, you know, go into shit and move too fast and not make a woman earn this and that. You know? Like, you just... I don't know, man. You know, like, God bless me in so many different ways. He blessed me to where I can even bless others. You know what I mean? So I'm so grateful for where I'm at in my life. Let's not get it twisted, y'all. We're not talking about that. Don't get it fucking twisted now. We ain't fucking talking about that. <laughs> we ain't fucking talking about I'm that. sad, man. you know, if this stuff ain't been working out. Whatever the case may be, then that's cool. That's human. I'm human, you know what I mean? Yeah, everybody human, man. A lot of men don't like to show that shit, but... It's all good. So Carmen states, too one much, thing I need in my life right now is peace. She Bro, and let me tell y'all something, man. I'm glad that she said that because you see, like, it's the Instagram life and you see social media influencers and you see celebrities and shit. Like, it might make you really feel like, damn, I'm not really doing shit in life, man. Like, I don't have a fucking Maybach. I don't have a, a, a fucking mansion in the hills. I don't have all of this shit, man. But let me tell y'all something, bro. Those very same people sometimes don't even have this, which is peace. Peace is what everybody is really searching for. And even the niggas who had a mansion in the hills, they feel like they need a bigger mansion. They feel like they need even more cars, even more hoes. Even more clothes, even more jewelry, just to find peace. Everybody's searching for peace, you know, but that's something that you cannot buy. That's something that you have to instill in yourself, find within yourself, right? Clear out those demons in your closet, heal from your traumas to actually come to the place and space of peace. This is the most valuable thing in life, y'all. Don't get it twisted. It's not money, cars, clothes, hoes, jewelry, none of that shit, y'all. It's peace. If you can act, if you can say right now in your life that you are at peace, peace in your heart, peace in your soul, and have peace of mind, I promise y'all, you won't even care about the material things. If your peace and happiness is tied to how much you don't have or how much you do have, if you lose it, you're going to be fucked. So once again, peace of mind is priceless. I know it sounds corny, but it's true. You can have all the material things of the world and still be fucking depressed, still be unhappy, still shoot yourself in the head. It happens all the time. We see it all the time. I'm not telling y'all to be broke. I'm telling y'all to feed your spirits and find abundance within yourself, peace within yourself. Still have all the cars, money, clothes, hoes, and jewelry, but make sure that you're right within what Lauren Hill said, how you going to win when you ain't right within? How you going to win? You can't win when you're not right within. I don't care what you have materially, you know? She also says, this year, want to keep things private as much as I can. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. No, Corey seems to think that this whole situation is funny. He comments this on nigga. his Twitter, tough, with a laugh and emotion. It's super tough. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh at BG, man, but it's super tough. It's tough. It's a tough situation, but he has to understand that he landed himself there. Yes, Carmen did her little shit, too, but at the end of the day, man, like, you just got to move different, fam. You do. You know, you, you got to move different. OG. Now, tough is a term that Michi and Prime use a lot. So people felt like Corey was definitely trying to be funny and throw. So I don't know if that's the case maybe he was using you know prime what prime be saying but i get that from soul illuminati soul illuminati used to always say that's tough you know that's where i get that from so i don't know if he was using it for prime to throw shade at prime in them and michi and them probably so though knowing Corey ass you know some shade here no Corey also went on to instagram live of course to talk about this whole situation with carmen really you're like Get some more foreign women. Let me find out. Citizenship. Fuck no. Oh my god. Y'all that shit. You know what? It's, it ain't a lot of y'all, bro. It's really pitiful, dog. It's really pitiful. It's really, really pitiful how you come on live and, and spill out all your personal business and drag your soon to be ex wife. You know, that's what's really pitiful. That people take that shit a joke. Like, y'all take that shit for a joke. Y'all laugh about it. Like, like I said, bro, imagine if. And that's the thing, man. 
it, if all of this was such a big deal to him, why didn't you expose this when it happened? Why didn't you expose this a long time ago? You exposed it when you knew that Carmen wasn't taking your ass back, nigga. That's when you felt like you needed to expose it. When you knew, like, damn, this time is it, it's really over this time. That's when you ex want to expose the shit. Come on now. Come on, bro. You got a son. Wasn't that big of a deal? And that happened to your son. Somebody, somebody, somebody literally kept your son to, to a point where, like, see, y'all, y'all so caught on to y'all other shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, that shit, it ain't no joke, bro. Motherfucker <laughs> knew the whole time what they was doing. Like, the motherfuckers, the motherfuckers. And it makes sense why they never taught me Spanish. I've been trying to learn Spanish for seven fucking years. Okay, you gonna rely on her to teach you Spanish? You better get Duolingo, nigga. <laughs> the fuck? You waiting on her to teach you Spanish? I mean, is it her responsibility to teach you Spanish? Come on, bro. Why? 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 I got a person that live with me that knows Spanish. My kids. You speak they would not teach me Spanish. Like, why you won't teach me Spanish? I mean, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I was upset growing up because my mama wouldn't teach me Tagalog, which is my, my mama's from the Philippines, right? And she wouldn't teach me. It's not that she wouldn't teach me. I guess she used to always say, you already know. No, I don't know. I can understand. I can say certain things. But in no way, shape, or form am I fluent at all, even close to being fluent. I think she was just lazy. She didn't want to teach me. I was like, oh, whatever the case is. But I don't hate my mom for that. Like, I still love my mom or whatever the case is. I don't know why she didn't sit down and teach me, but it just is what it is. Maybe she just didn't feel like teaching your ass, fam. Huh? You know, like, like I said, man, this is a smear campaign that he's going on. Not saying that he's a narcissist, but narcissists do use the smear campaign. Let me look up what that shit is so y'all understand what I'm talking about, man. Narcissist smear campaign is a narcissist attempt to tarnish their victim's image, reputation, credibility, and character. These campaigns often involve spreading false information, rumors, or half-truths. True, truths. Why is that truth like truths? Half-truths <laughs> about the victim aiming to turn others against them. That's what I'm saying, man. Like, I, like, of course, there's some truth in what he be saying, right? But it's also, I feel like he stretches the truth. I feel like he manipulates certain things, leaves out certain contexts to make things look a different way to turn people against Carmen, if that makes sense. But he's only exposing himself. He's only revealing his true character, which ain't shit. But anyway. All we had to do was so hard for me to understand it, but not no way you want me to learn Spanish. I get it now. Oh, we all get it now. It's deeper than what y'all think it is. That's why That's why y'all just so caught on. Y'all just, you know, people just goofy, dog. But other than that, bro, this shit ways. This, this is real serious shit. You know so I mean? she didn't want you to learn Spanish because you. she didn't want you to overhear her talking about maybe using you for citizenship? Like I said, man, in my opinion, Carmen really loved this nigga, bro. Whether she wanted to marry for citizenship or not, she really was trying to be with this nigga and was really taking this nigga serious, in my opinion. Could I be wrong? Yes. Maybe she did just go for the citizenship and that's all she wanted. But to me, it seemed like she genuinely tried. And Corey just fucked up the whole damn relationship, fucked up the whole marriage, cheating, cheating, cheating. And when she finally gets over the situation, when she finally wants to entertain other niggas because you're not doing what you're supposed to do throughout the whole marriage... You know, now it's her fault. Like I said, I do not promote cheating at all. She was cheating too. She was entertaining other niggas too. But you got to see what led to her breaking point, you know? And like I said, the only reason why he's speaking on all of this shit now is because he's upset that he is at the end of his rope with Carmen. Carmen is not accepting him back anymore. She's not falling for the lies and manipulation anymore. And she is ready to be done with him. And he cannot stand it. He's so I don't it's, it's over with though. That shit is all good. She's I'll be pissed. And this I don't give a fuck. Nobody say anybody would have been pissed in this situation. I don't give a fuck. Nobody say, bro. It's, it's all fun and game until your ass in these shoes. And it's all fun and game until you take somebody and you change their fucking life. Everybody always try to say, y'all did it together. 
if it wasn't for Corey, oh my god, all here we go. This together, here if we it go. wasn't for Corey, teach his first how to do everything. I feel like he just don't understand that it takes two people. This is a goofy ass nigga, bro. <laughs> this is a goofy like I really want to react to this, but I really don't want to react to this, guys, because it just it just like I, I can't take his his delusion. Yes, you came up with ideas. Yes, you put the um the the idea in it, her head. The social media they can go up and they can make a lot of money, and we should do this, this video, that video. Did you still need her for Carmen and Corey? Because if not, why don't you just oh it's the Corey show? Why don't you just be Corey SSG? Y'all were Carmen and Corey. Matter of fact, the Carmen came before the Corey. If we being honest, and she meant she more lit than you. Especially after this breakup, you know. So it's just like, <laughs> y'all. I really want to react to this the rest of this video, but I really don't want to. I want to for y'all, but I don't want to because I, I'm just tired of entertaining Corey's lies, manipulation. I'm just tired of it, man. I know y'all tired of seeing this shit too. So I'm gonna end the video right here. I know, whatever. We still got four minutes left. I don't have time for his shit. I'm not going to waste another minute on, on his his antics. All right. So if y'all want to see the rest of Corey's rant and antics, you guys can go check out the tea room. All right. Start at six minutes and watch the rest because I can't do it, man. I don't have the time or patience. I, I can't do it, man. But I love y'all. I hope that y'all enjoy y'all Sunday. I hope y'all have a blessed Sunday. Like I said, man, um, peace of mind is priceless. You cannot put a price on that. Do not be fooled by all the images and shit that you see on Instagram. Do not compare yourself to them people because you don't know if them people have real peace of mind. And if you have peace of mind and they don't, you're richer than them. Not saying that it's a competition, but you have to know what's really important in life, man. You know, it's the things that money cannot buy. I love y'all. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Tell a friend to tell a friend to today ain't your mama today. Uncle Joe, we still a hoe. I will see you guys in the next motherfucking video. And I love y'all, man. Peace. We out, baby.